Greetings. We wanted to take a few minutes to talk about a difficult topic that affects every school. That topic is on-site active shooters and other intruders. It is a terrible event that has inspired many potential solutions. Some solutions are relatively expensive for limited school budgets. Some are good for lockdown situations. Think door jams, handle locks, bars. Several require the device to be mounted on a wall nearby, hopefully available when the need arises. Some require multiple devices to be mounted to the door and surrounding frame, either high, low, or ideally near the latch. High and low installations present mobility or access challenges. Some require a key to engage or disengage. Key availability presents obvious challenges to school personnel, substitute teachers, and first responders. A few require the door to be opened to activate. Our idea progressed during a recent Christmas break when our daughter, a middle school teacher, described an alternative being considered at her school. They thought about having an electrical extension cord near the classroom entry door to tie to the doorknob, then have the teacher or a student pull on the cord to keep the door shut. That could work, but in many cases the door has a window exposing the person on the cord to the intruder. Her dad and uncle suggested a marine style cleat to quickly wrap the wire around and not have to remain near the door exposed to the intruder. As we discussed the pros and cons of this approach, we thought it would not be easy to tie a knot in an extension cord that would conform tightly to every door knob or handle and not slip off. To expedite the process of attaching something to the knob and door frame, the idea evolved into a few simple parts. We decided it would be much easier to tie a knot in a rope than an electrical cord. Even at a quarter inch, many low grade ropes have working strength of over 100 pounds. Small diameter marine grade rigging line strength is over 1,000 pounds. Very few people would be able to pull in excess of 100 pounds force with one hand, the other presumably carrying a gun. With a bowline loop end, one can very quickly create a noose that will conform to any doorknob or handle. Inserting the loose end through the loop creates the performance of a hangman's knot without the risk of the knot collapsing. Being an art teacher, our daughter wears an apron with a front pocket, a perfect place to stash a small length of line. Others can simply hang it inside a belt, pants, or skirt top. Extraction time is less than it takes to actually get to the door. The second issue was securing the loose end of the rope. Whether the door has a window or not, it would not be ideal to expect a student or teacher to remain in place using a rope or extension cord to combat a pull from the other direction for an unknown amount of time. The first thought of a regular T-shaped cleat would create a firm secure attachment but requires that person know how to use a cleat properly. Although it can be done quickly with a little practice, it can still take time. The pointed cleat ends could also become a catch for passing coats, backpacks, etc. With those concerns, we wanted a different anchor. Having sailing experience, the thought of a cam cleat arose. It has been used on sailboats for securing lines for many years. It engages easily and almost instantaneously. It releases just as fast if the situation calls for a speedy escape. Any child can affect a release with a snappy pull. As it sits mounted on the wall, or door frame it is much less likely to catch passing items than a T-shaped cleat. Depending on the door frame or wall material, an optional mounting plate can be used. In this short video, we show the quick and easy installation. Using a drill bit appropriate to the frame or wall material, only two small holes are drilled. With the holes ready, one need only screw in the cleat, perhaps with the optional mounting plate, to the frame or wall. In this case, the frame is wood, so simple wood screws are used. With the cleat mounted, take your line with a pre-tied loop, pass the loose end through the loop to create a noose. Place the noose over the doorknob or handle. This noose doesn't care which style you have. Pull the noose tight to the doorknob, then pull the loose end through the cam cleat. That's all that's required. The only way to open the door would be to overcome the strength of the rope. Typical cleats can handle a quarter to half inch diameter rope more than is needed. The one in the video is a low stretch quarter inch marine line with 1200 pounds of strength. As you can see a snappy tug on the loose end releases the rope from the cleat allowing a speedy exit when appropriate. 
Again, one hand on a doorknob is not likely to pull with the force required to break even a small rope. Chances are a shearer will try opening a door, find resistance, and move on. The more doors he finds unwilling, the more time first responders have to secure the scene. While it is not a perfect answer for every scenario, we feel it is a good step forward for doors that open to the hallway. To recap, unlike several commercial solutions, this idea does not require the door to be opened. In fact, it cannot be open to activate. There is no unnecessary exposure to danger. It is fast and easy to engage at waist level, not at the floor or at the top of the door, alleviating accessibility concerns. There are no keys involved, just a piece of rope that is easily carried and replaced if lost. It requires almost no training. There are no objects to hang on the wall with the risk of availability when needed. This solution is low-tech, small, lightweight, and discreet. It is easy and inexpensive to purchase or replace if needed. It is cheap enough that repair is really not even an option. Basically, there are four parts. A cleat, a small length of rope, and two mounting screws compatible with your door frame or wall material. Any maintenance personnel should be able to accomplish this in five minutes or less. Now for the bottom line. We thought about creating a company and selling a kit, but decided to offer this solution for free as a community service that schools can implement quickly and cheaply. Keeping lives safe, especially children's, should not entail riches. The cam cleat is readily available through marine supply stores, possibly direct through the manufacturers. We found at least three different parts with a simple web search. Rope is available at any local hardware or marine supply store. We suggest the cost is low enough it could be done with petty cash if available, negating the need for prolonged budgetary processes. We hope you find this information useful. Although we are promoting it as a classroom device to protect kids, there have been workplace events where this could work as well. We can address any concerns in the comment area or via email. We are also willing to provide any assistance we can in helping you implement this valuable safety feature. If you'd like to support our efforts to spread the word and assist this implementation, consider donating a one-time or per-part gift to our PayPal account at notallowed at gmail.com. Thank you and stay safe.